right? I'm going to draw a picture of what happened in the third exercise. So this should hopefully give you a better idea of the high level of how all these different pieces work. So you had the HTML, which was a core, right? And you had the AngularJS script inside it. That was the script tag, and we linked it to angular.js. Then we used three directives that came out of the box with AngularJS. We did not create these directives. These came out of the box, and we were able to use it. Note the naming convention here again. It's ng dash, which means these are Angular directives, OK? We use these three directives in our HTML. And since these came with Angular, they were applied. Angular was able to know what to do when it saw those directives and it easily uh, applied the right functionality. But here's a question. We created a variable using ng-init, right? We created the R of day variable and that was an expression in ng-init. But then we used that variable in a different directive. We used it in ng if. Now, how do these two directives talk to each other? There was one directive which created the variable and another directive which used the variable that was created in the first directive. How do they talk to each other? The way they talk to each other is by sharing a common space, a common space where all these variables are declared. The space is called the scope, right? All these three directives actually talk to each other by using the scope. When you use a variable in each of these expressions, right? When you use a vari variable in ng in it to initialize the variable and you use the variable again in ng if, it was the same variable because they were both referring to this common space called the scope. When you create a variable or you use it, it's always pointing to the scope. Think of a scope as an object and the variable as a property of that object. When Angular application starts, it creates this object called the scope, which is going to be this container where all your variables are going to be placed. All right, so that's a common scope object. ng init created a variable. What it did was it actually created a property on the scope object. ng if had, did a read from that variable. What did it do? It was actually reading a property from the scope object. So anytime you use a variable in any of these directives, right, in the expression of these directives, you're actually referring to a property of the scope. You don't have to say scope dot r of t. You just have to say r of t. And Angular automatically adds the scope dot in front of it and it refers to it.